Hello YouTube fans and um, Transformer fans. This is Mike Mouse 74 doing a little bit of a different review. Um, these are these are the Insecticons from the G1 series. Um, I'm going to try doing a transformation with these. The reason why because they're very 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 simple to transform. I don't have any problems with these at all. Um, so right here there's shrapnel. On the box that came in, it says his name is um, Sharp Shot, which is kind of weird. <laughs> but I don't know. It's his, his name's Shrapnel, though. Um, this is Kickback. And then this is Bombshell. Um, but like I said, on the box, it says Hard Shell. Probably because he does have a hard shell, maybe. You know? So, whatever. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with... Um, with shrapnel here, I'll just turn the camera over to the side like this. So what I'm going to do, you take his legs and you bring them down. If you... Like so. A little bit, uh, a little bit tight because I haven't uh, transformed these in a while. So at the at the uh, at the at the waist, rotate it all the way around. So it's like this, and just lift his feet up right here. So now you have it standing. You're pretty much almost done. All you have to do is take his um, antennas right here, or wh whatever you want to call them, <laughs> and just open it to reveal his face. Look at that. His face is like right there. And then turn them around. You can either, these wheels, you can either leave them out like that, or you can push them in. Some people mostly just kind of push them in so they're like out of the way. And then uh, if you want to put his gun on, his gun just kind of just, just sits right on his forearm. Uh, if we got the right one. Uh, Like so. So okay, so that's that's that. And I'll just set him over over here. Um, I'll do kickback next. This is kickback. Um, he's pretty. He's, an, he's another another simple one. So right here, you just those those, those are actually his feet. <laughs> so you just lift these up here like that. Like so, and pretty much standing. And then you take his head and just spin his whole head around and just straighten out his antlers at the top here. His wings just flip up like so. His hands you just rotate around like this. And like I said, they all come with weapons. So he just put his gun like that. Straighten his weapon, his, his uh, antenna here. His uh, his hands are like claw-like hands, so you can either have them open like that or whatever, whatever you, whatever you know, whatever you want to do. Um. So that's that. Um, I'm gonna put him over the side too for a little for a minute here. And then, last but not least, um, bombshell. So here it's basically simple. You just push his legs down like that, and that. And so you have him standing. Whoops! <laughs> it's not supposed to fall. So you have him standing. Like that, pretty much. Um, this here open opens up, and you can see his face right there, and his his gun on the top here. Just kind of just, you can pretty much do do whatever you want with it. You can put it like this, um, and his the the wheels here. You just kind of turn the side. Same thing on the other side. Bring him up. Bring it out. 
and then put his gun on just like so and you should be good to go and that's that's that and I'm just gonna put them over here I'll just have to oh, these these stickers are really irrelevant <laughs> like seriously you just gotta glue them on and they'll, they'll stay on so I'm gonna put these here and then I'll put the camera on them again and I'll just read a little bit about them So these are from the G1 series again. Uh, they're the Insecticons. Um, I'll read a little bit about them and uh, tell you what they're about. It's a world where things are not what they seem. It's a world of heroic Autobots and evil Decepticons who are known as the Transformers. Experience the thrill of once again discovering the secrets of the most sinister Decepticons Trial, or trial of all time, identical to the original toys. These convertible action figures let you reproduce all the action of the evil Insecticons. So they, they are pretty evil, uh, but they do like, like to stick together as, as three. Um, they do have um, Decepticon symbols, a bombshell. You can see he has one Whoops. <laughs> it's not, I'm having a hard time standing up here. It's alright. He has one right here. Um, he's a pretty cool figure. Uh, I like him. Uh, you know, he's, he's decent. Um, what else? Oh, he has um, another, another Decepticon symbol on his, uh, on his leg, on the back of his leg there. If you just put your finger and rub it like this, and then you'll reveal a Decepticon. Oops, get my get my hand out of the way. I don't know if you can see that. I'll do it again just so. I can... See, right there. It goes dark pretty pretty quick though. So I'll set him back here. Um. Kickback has another has a has a Decepticon symbol, which is on on his chest right here, and he has another Decepticon symbol um, on his wing. Uh, it's like right here. It's the same thing as the other one. You just kind of take your finger and rub rub it out a little bit. It's supposed to, or you can just leave leave your finger on there for a bit. So if you leave it on there, it'll it'll show. Then it'll like cover up again. It's pretty neat. Oh, it takes a long time for that, so I'm not gonna <laughs> waste my film on this. Um, and then uh, Shrapnel, he has a Decepticon symbol right in the center of his chest. Right here. Um, yeah, okay, if you can see right there, just in the, in the center. Um, and he has another Decepticon symbol also on the back of his leg. Like, you just take your thumb. You don't even have to rub it, just kind of keep your thumb there for like five seconds, whatever. That's all it takes. And then you can reveal a Decepticon symbol. I don't know if you can see that very well. The light, the light on my camera is like really, really bright. Might when I need your sunglasses for this one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. So there. So there you go. Um, overall, uh, they're very, very, very nice figures. If you can see them anywhere, do pick them up. I suggest it. Uh, I bought them at Toys R Us uh, last year. Um, so they they come in they come in in a set, so you don't have to worry about you know 
getting one after another after another they, they come in a set so it's about 50 bucks um, it's, it's worth it too um, I was lucky when I found them so I, uh, that's about it for now um, if you guys like my review subscribe and tell me what you think um, that's it I'll see you guys later